This is part of the linear acceleration train that can take you anywhere in the world in just a few hours, safely, without snow, rain, being lost at sea, are all these to things the weather. Are all these things you're saying, Jacques, uh, could they be built with what we know today, or are some of these things, are you guessing based on what we know today? No. All of these things can be built with what we know today. It would take 10 years to change the surface of the Earth, to rebuild the world into a second Garden of Eden. The choice lies with you. The stupidity of a nuclear arms race, the development of weapons, trying to solve your po problems politically by electing this political party or that political party, that all politics is immersed in corruption. Let me say it again. Communism, socialism, fascism, the Democrats, the liberals, we want to absorb human beings, women's lib, all organizations that believe in a better life for man. There are no Negro problems, or Polish problems, or Jewish problems, or Greek problems, or women's problems. They're human problems. To come into socio cybernearing and take your part and function. We are not concerned with the divisions of segments of society. No uh, control of population? Population control is dependent upon education. We feel an educated population needs no control. You wouldn't stop sex? No, sir. Mm. Good yeah. move, Jacques. What's this? Some individuals may want to live in a way out house. How far way out, how far out you want to live, would be determined by your value system and your lifestyle. It is not a restricted society. It is not a 1984. It is not a brave new world, but it's something brand new. We would like you to investigate socio cybernearing now, I'm going to give you the address out of people who'd like to know more about Ooh, the next one looks really weird. Some people may want to live in a different kind of home. I myself, I'm interested in world affairs, ecological changes, therefore the walls would have panoramic screens giving me the kind of information that I am interested in. Your home may be different, designed to fit your needs. The homes will now, be molded. No one will rapidly. pay the builder of the home, he no. will not receive money? No. Why will he build the home? What he doesn't insane. build the home. The homes are built through systems engineering in which we can form a home every half hour by blowing the floor up out of the ground so that we have out, up out of the plastic unit which the floor is comprised of. We blow and shape the furniture and then spray the furniture. In other words, if you're going to be here, if the United States is going to be here for the next 20 years, you can't have a plumber install the toilet bowl and the sink and the shower in the same old hand tool fashion that was done 40 years ago. We've got to make a quantum jump, mold maybe 15 different types of bathrooms. You pick out that which you like, the bathroom is self-cleaning, self-drying, and we install it in your architecture based upon your selection. What, uh, uh, it will be so hard to change, you know, How a you lot of this thing sound fascinating, but you, to, in order to accomplish any of this, you, you require, to me, a change of the human. The human value system. Yeah. We feel that if enough human beings are exposed to socio-cybernearing through information, and they question things about human behavior, the new schools, I'd be happy to describe all things. We don't have enough time now to go into that. But it doesn't take very long for Americans to change. Americans have been conditioned in, a, in their kind of society to get a different kind of car next year, to buy a new television set or a tape recorder. We are radical as hell, but our political and social institutions have not changed. And this is where we are stagnating, because we always equate, equate any new idea with communism or regimentation because we've been brought up to fear that which is new. And I think that Christ was a radical. He brought new ideas, but it took time, thousands of years for people to really appreciate ideas. Mm, they still haven't bought them. Exactly. Uh, what's, Our what's, ideas, this giant, what's this giant foot? What looks like a giant foot is really a wind tunnel in a vertical position. We feel by building six of these in the Los Angeles area and the New York area, and accelerating air down through this tunnel by means of turbines and electrostatic filters and a low temperature base, we can clean the air of the solids, particulate matter, gases, and all suspended particles within a period of one year, clean the air in the Los Angeles and New York area, and then remove these structures and build garden cities again. Let's not wait for nature to do it. We loused it up. We're going to have to clean it up like the war program. You know, people, before I show this last one, people, uh, just so you know, you know, that uh, a lot of this is wondrous to you, and it is to me, of course, but uh, Dr. Fresco, 
He is a respected social engineer, industrial designer, designer and inventor, PhD in human factors engineering, and has worked on many things from uh, anti-icing systems to prefabricated aluminum houses, designed systems for noiseless and pollution-free aircraft, wrote the book Looking Forward. He has lectured uh, at the Department of Sociology in Princeton on Sociology of the Future, guest at the College Editors Environmental Conference in Washington, lectured at Queens College, New York, University of South Florida, University of California, designed various items ranging from drafting instruments to x-ray units. And uh, so, you know, don't just dismiss this. If he says it's possible, it's possible. What's this? Well, in times to come, most of you are probably familiar with the giant units that are used to move the rockets onto their launching platform, tremendous tractor systems. In the distant future, perhaps the next 15 or 20 years, huge tractors may be built with a nuclear reactor built in that can fuse the Earth into canals and transportation ways. We can shape the Earth by nuclear energy without mixing concrete, without having trucks and human beings leveling the concrete. We can do this today at 20 miles an hour if we wanted to. Shape the Earth into highways, waterways, flood control systems in a totally different reorganized technology. All right, now, technicians working now in the, this present setup in the private industry concept, why haven't we seen more things like this? If, if they are feasible, if for just, a, for example, the Japanese, or everybody's working on a high-speed train, and you can't tell me that uh, the Japanese wouldn't like to have, uh, the Seaboard Railroad wouldn't like to have a train that could get to you to New York in 20 minutes, well, for, even for profit. I why don't they? There, as far as I know, at present, there is really no integrated transportation system. Integrating a transportation system, you have to design, it's just like designing a heart of a human being, if God did it this way, and then he decided what some lungs nearby, and then he built another structure to hold our arms. All of these are afterthoughts. What we have to do is design a city as a living system, as an organism, as a university, that all of the cities of the future will be university cities that grow, that continue to exchange ideas. The city will have a built-in transportation system so there are no accidents and no unthought out areas of technology. Medicine, botany, agriculture, the total system. One planning system. Our cities have been designed a long time ago. The area like Miami, downtown Miami, they put in a couple of pots and a couple of trees and this kind of simulating a, an intelligent approach to an environment which costs thousands of dollars. And these little intrusions on Flagler Street only cause the buses and the fire engines and the emergency vehicles to become further tied up. They are no solutions. They're clumsy, academic approaches by people immersed in this kind of society coming up with their cop-out solutions that have no relationship to the problems. You cannot be a conventional architect, a conventional engineer, work for the telephone company or any other of the old establishment and come up with an idea that is a radical innovation. The space program takes new thinking to save our country, to save our land, to save our environment, to save our youth, our stupidity, our conflict, We've got to reorganize our way of thinking and reconsider our social aims what do you toward uh, the brotherhood of man. We do that or we perish. What do you think Frank Lloyd Wright would have thought of this? I think that Frank Lloyd Wright was establishment. I think that his architecture was radical. But I think it was radical in a limited way. And we've got to get away from this limited, I did this and I did that, and the self-centeredness that dominates our society today. It must be a privilege to serve members of society. Not that we want rewards or medals or honor for what we do, because it is just an honor to do it. And if you cannot work for that, then you miss the boat. You don't understand the teachings of the wisest men that ever lived. In your society, there are no mayors of cities? There, there are, are no mayors, there are no politicians, and you don't have to fill out any forms to go to the art center or music center, and you go to a university whether you can afford it or not. If you want a suit of clothes, how do you get it? Well, most suits of clothing are designed by anatomists and physiologists to be comfortable. Most of your shoes will breathe as you walk. They will be very different than the shoes that dominate your society today. Most of your clothing will be organically designed in that as you move your arms, it'll aerate and breathe. And most of your clothing will be washed by ultrasonics. No detergents, no washing machines, no centrifugal separators. We can knock all of the fluid off clothing today by vibration. 
We can knock fluids off clothing. In other words, if you could move a piece of fabric from position A to position B rapidly enough, the fluid will remain behind. Ultrasonically vibrating the fabric can remove the fluids. And you need not contaminate your waters. You don't have to use any of the system today. Let me briefly say this. You have a bumper in front of your car and behind your car. But your society, your car's hit on the side also. You have safety belts and harnesses in your car. But that assumes that you're going to hit, be hit by the rear or in front. If you're hit on a side, you go right through the side of the windshield. What good are these approaches? They are designed by men that are cerebral insufficiency. You've got to design a society with a bumper all around the car, phase out human drivers, put electronic guidance systems in cars, or eliminate the automobile and design a holistic transportation system. We must put our mind to this as we do to put a man on the moon. We must put our mind to the social problem. We wish to get away from politics. We wish to get away from the old world method of solving problems. If you can barely understand what it is I'm trying to say in this short period of time, please investigate socio-cybernetics. Are you saying that General Motors could build a safe car today, totally safe car, with the knowledge at hand? Yes, if they're given that assignment. They're not given that assignment. Well, because they're working on their own initiative to make more money. They're only interested in... in Look, if General Motors had to service their own cars, I can, I can tell you for certain that they would have two levers that you turn down and pull out the engine, shove it in a service unit, and you don't, to change a $3 spring in a car or a $2 part, you've got to do a $45 job on a small car just to pull the engine out. But if they had to service the car, I can assure you that whole engine would slide out. You know, they put a race car wheel on with one turn, that's the way your wheels would go on. You'd have bumpers all around. You'd have no chromium, no ornament. The chromium would be in the engine where you have chrome steel, tougher engine. In other words, the automobile companies have total, actually they have contempt. Let me say this again. All manufacturers have contempt for you to sell you the toothpaste. The products that they sell you are deliberately, deliberately designed to wear out, break down, so you have to continually service those things. You notice that your telephone is pretty reliable? Well, we here in America can think. We can design things that don't wear out and don't break down and don't require maintenance at all. Yeah, the instrument, yes. the phone, that stays forever. You bet. If the automobile companies had to maintain their cars, it would be a forever oh, yeah, the unit. phone company has to maintain the phone. You bet. That's why it's good. That's why your units hold up. I never thought of that. I don't. Most so a phone never, I mean, you know, operators can be bad. Yeah. So this can be bad, but the phone itself. Well, it's the same for your TV sets, by the way. You mean if, if RCA, if everybody had to maintain their own... You bet. They'd all be, there would be automatic system which you pull out.